Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline, where we explore the interaction of Photoshop and After Effects. Today, we've got a great tip on how you can use advanced blending inside of Photoshop to create some pretty cool footage effects. Let's see how it works. Now, I've got a footage layer here, and what I want to do is modify it to create a spot color effect. So I'm going to add on a black and white adjustment layer. and then use my on image tool to really get the look I'm going for. As I drag, you see that it affects how the black and white adjustment occurs and gives us our own sort of custom look. That's looking pretty well. When I'm satisfied with that, what I want to do is double click in the empty area and it brings up the blending options. Now what you could do is blend if certain colors are present. So I could say blend if there is red. So as I drag that there, you see it starts to see other areas. So if I pull that over, all of a sudden, the reds start to come through from beneath. If you hold on the option or the Alt key, you can actually split that apart to create a gradual transition. So there's a little bit of a transfer there. And you might be saying, well, what's the big deal? It's just a still. No, we opened a video file up in Photoshop with the extended version of Photoshop and that gives us the ability to work with motion. So if I go ahead here and call up the animation timeline, you're going to see as we drag through that this is over time. Let's click OK. And as that drags, just the fire is left behind while the other colors have been dropped out because we used advanced blending. Now I'm going to finish this out and toss on another adjustment layer for a texture. And we'll do pattern here. And this gives us all sorts of textures to work with. If you click, you can go in and get things like artist surface or patterns, all sorts of things. I like these surfaces here because it gives you some pretty cool textures to work with. There we go. And let's just scale that up a bit. You could drag it to position it. And we'll blend that. just giving it a little bit of a texture to the overlap. And let's finish that out with a gradient. And we'll do radial. And just create a little bit of a vignette effect, sort of drawing the eyes into the center. There we go. And lower that to taste with the multiply mode. Now at this point, we've got a pretty cool spot color effect and a treatment going on with our footage. I could render this out, or I could bring it right into After Effects and reuse it there. Watch how it works. Let's go ahead and save this. So let's jump into After Effects, and we'll import that in. And when I bring it in, I'm going to import it as footage, not a composition. We did some pretty advanced blending inside of Photoshop, and that blending won't import if you bring it in as a layered file. So I can just bring that in as footage and click Open and hit OK. And it's just a footage file. Now it looks like a Photoshop file, but if we drag that into a comp, what you're going to see is it's still the original duration and everything is intact. You've got the moving footage, we've got the spot color effect, we've got the texture, we've got the vignette. And if you need to modify things, it's a piece of cake. Just select the layer, press Command E, and you're back in Photoshop where I could say, you know what, let's make that gradient a little darker. And while I'm here, let's go ahead and you know, revisit that blending by double-clicking on that layer. And I want to refine that blending a little bit. There we go. Looks pretty good. A little softer. And you know what? Let's also put in a vibrance adjustment and really pop the saturation. There we go. Nice, rich reds. Really get those to come through. Close, save, switch back to After Effects, and look, everything updates and comes through. So that's pretty amazing. When you think about it, Photoshop can act as an advanced color correction or color grading tool for After Effects, or even Premiere Pro for that matter. 
the ability to drop in a Photoshop file with video layers embedded and use all of the powerful tools inside of Photoshop really goes a long way to getting the job done. For Video Adrenaline and Creative Cow, my name is Rich Harrington, and I invite you to head on over to creativecow.net where you can check out more great tutorials and the very active support forums. Thanks again.